Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Bretonia playthrough as Carcassonne, where, well, unfortunately I'm actually on a slightly earlier save here, guys, than where we were, I do realise that. Unfortunately, however, uh, I, I'm going to have to declare this campaign done and dead, because we were doing our final push through Estelia and to, um... To, uh, and we were going to hit Scave of Light, which we would be able to do. It wasn't necessarily going to be all our way. Um, unfortunately, that crash we had last time, guys, every time I get to that turn and finish that turn, it crashes. So it's not just that agent which is doing it. Something is fundamentally broken somewhere in the background, guys, unfortunately. So this is a very, very quick one, unfortunately. It's just a very quick announcement to say that we are ending this series, which is why you've not seen it for a while, because I've been trying to get around this crash. I went back a few saves just to see if I could zerg my way past it, and unfortunately I can't. Um, so this series is over. What we are going to be doing, guys, I will be bringing you something new and shiny. We will be doing a Boris Toddbringer playthrough, as has been requested, guys. Um... So I'll be starting that one up. And I do have something else to start up as well. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do for my other one. Though at the moment with uh, Three Kingdoms relatively soon. I don't want to rush things. I do also want to spend some time doing some more Battletech and Stellaris as well guys. Um, I'm going to use this as a bit of an update as well to be fair for, for, for my regulars. Uh, so, you know, I will be doing a bit more Stellaris because I do need to finish that off. I, I've been a bit remiss on that recently and I want to do a little bit more Battletech because I enjoy playing it. And again, just to let the people who are, I have been watching it diligently know why it suddenly stopped. Basically, people weren't watching it. Same with some of my Stellaris. It's just not a popular playthrough. So it will probably get played in the background. I'm going to play Stellaris playthroughs every so often because I enjoy it, guys. And I will share whatever I'm playing uh, but ideas to make them more watchable, because certainly I find Paradox games very hard to make watchable, because there's a very different format for them. Um, uh, for them. Also, another news, just so you are aware, guys, I, I've mentioned certainly on my Discord, I am potentially moving relatively soon, probably, to, hopefully, towards the end of next month. Hopefully not. I'll have the internet when Free Kingdoms launches, otherwise that will be interesting. Uh, but yeah, just so you are aware, I am moving relatively soon, so there could be some interruption to playthroughs when that happens. Anyway, guys, I do thank you for understanding that this is uh, this one is ending here, and we will be bringing something new. Sorry I'm not being able to bring that to you today. I've been trying to get this working, and unfortunately you're just getting the, uh, the announcement instead that it is over. Uh, Bretonia, I, I, I mean, we've, we've done more than I wanted to on this campaign again. This was only ever meant to be a short campaign, so I'm not that upset by ending it here. As always, please feel free to pop any comments in the comments section, or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There's a link to my Discord in the comments and description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliations. And if you've enjoyed this and want to see my new upcoming campaigns, guys, please like and subscribe.